Hey guys, welcome to Homework Codes. In this video, we're going to see something about idempotent and non-idempotent methods available in HTTP. So here, uh, these are all the four mostly used, okay, mostly used uh, HTTP methods, and those are all like get, put, delete, and post. So we use get to retrieve some information from the uh, you know resources, right? So, and then put. So we're going to update something. Uh, in a resource so that purpose we use port and delete is like to delete some resource and post is like to create a new resource so that's the purpose of these four methods right so we're gonna see uh, about each method okay which are all item potent and which are all non item potent so hey get the first one is get right so get is item potent because it is going to give the same result again and again for example I'm going to uh, retrieve an information of customer ID 100. Uh, I can I can try it 10 hundred thousand times, right? If I if I try to get the uh, details of the customer whose ID is 100, it will be giving the same result, the same customer detail for n number of weeks, right? So that's why it is item important. Next one is put. Uh, put method is also item important because it is going to update the same resource again and again when called repeatedly. For example, I'm trying to update uh, a customer's detail and the customer ID is like 100. So if I go and update the detail of this particular customer, then that particular resource is getting updated all the time. So it is not going to update any other customer's detail, right? The same resource is going to get updated again and again. So that is why put is also item potent and delete method so delete method is also item potent because it is going to delete the same resource again and again when called repeatedly for example if i if i want to delete uh, the customer whose id is 100 uh, in the first call itself the customer data will get, will get deleted right so if i keep on you know passing the same id then uh, no other resource will get deleted so it will try to delete that particular customer and node so delete also add important post post method is non add important because it is going to create a new resource for every call for example i'm having a name abc and age 26 so with these details i'm going to call the post method to create a customer so if i call uh, the post method again and again with these details every time a new resource will get created if there is no any specific validation on uh, these fields so post method is non item potent thanks for watching